Hi everyone. Welcome to Java Tiki. I am sure most of you have already heard about GitHub Copilot. These days, many companies provide it to developers to boost their productivity, right? So when initially companies started using it around 2023, it was mainly designed for conversational AI where you will give inline prompt right from your ID and it will give you a code suggestion. But here is the big update. In May 2025 github took it to the next level by launching the copilot ai agent and it's a game changer now it's not just suggesting code it's actually coding for you like a autonomous coding partner if you remember we recently explored about juni ai agent a paid jet brains product well copilot agent is quite similar a powerful ai agent but this one is available as open source right inside your bs code so let's explore this new copilot agent and see how it can help us in real coding task okay all right so without any further delay let's get started So to start playing with GitHub Copilot agent, first you need to install Visual Studio Code. You can go to code.visualstudio.com, then you can find the download option here. You can choose based on your operating system, click on simply download. Since already I installed it, I am not going to do it again. Let me open my Visual Studio Code. Now I have some simple project already imported to this particular VS Code. Now once you install the VS code, you will find this particular icon. Can you see here the GitHub Copilot icon? So if you are installing the latest VS code, this plugin is already there. But if you are using the old VS code and you want to play with GitHub Copilot, then you can go to the plugin section and you can just search the extension GitHub Copilot. Okay, then you will find that and just install that particular extension since it is already there with me i will start using the github copilot agent mode here so click on this particular icon open chart now if you see here there are many options now agent is there ask is there edit is there so if you select on ask that is completely free in vs code which is nothing your conversational ai he will type something and he will respond you the different type of suggestion. But if you want agent to modify your code, edit your code or complete your task on the fly, you can select agent here. Okay, that is what we are going to explore about how this GitHub Copilot agent helps us to do the real time task. Okay, fine. Now let me close this for now. So I created one simple product service and there is a method called export product to csp and i am fetching list of product from the database and generating csp report now if you check i have these product details in my database these are the 14 product object i have in dv now let's run this particular application and we'll export all the products to the csp then we'll see if there is any bug we'll ask agent to help us okay go to the main class simply run the application so you can see application started on port 9191 go to the chrome let me open the swagger and you will find your something called export csb that is what the rest endpoint i have defined now click on try it out execute now it is giving me option to download the file which we generate now click on download let me open this product.csv now once i opened it i am getting some warning saying that by default excel will perform this following data conversation in this file ok allow him to do that now if you see here let me format it properly now if you see here what is this language i don't understand these are the correct english but what is this 
Now if you see in our database, we have some record with special character. Can you see here? There are few records with special character. Now if you see the output, the name section who contains special character is not formatting correctly in the report. This particular section I was talking about. Can you see here? Now I don't know how to fix it. While generating the report, it is able to map all the data from my DB to this CSV file. Let's ask this issue to the agent and see how he is helping us to fix the problem. Go to the Visual Studio. Go to the class where you are getting the error, product service, right? Close it. Now I will ask agent. Let's first open the agent. Just ask him export product to csv method is not mapping what is that field special character also you can ask agent to modify your csv file make it better look and feel you can do that let's not jump into it right now now let me ask this to agent to fix it rather than giving me the code suggestion Let's see the export product to CSB method has been updated to include the changes and the see the interesting part here it is not directly doing the change it is giving option to you whether you want to keep the changes or you want to undo it so just click on keep we need that changes okay so if you observe what it added response dot set character encoding utf8 can you see this line what this will does this will always ensure that all the special character or if you have any other non ascii character are correctly encoded and can be properly displayed in all the file format okay that is what he does now let's do one thing let's restart our application let me save it yeah already saved Let's restart the application and we'll generate the report again and we'll see how it is working. Go to the Swagger again and I'll click on execute. Download the file. Let me open it. Here is the file. Now if you let me zoom this. Yeah. So if you observe here, now the name field is looking correct. Can you see here? whatever the special character we have it is taking them correctly all the columns who is having special character we are getting the correct report fine this is how you can start asking agent to fix any existing bug in your system you can take the help from this agent but again this is not free even though in vs code but you can use to some extent now if i'll show you in bottom of the id you will find this icon just click on it and it will give you the copilot free plan usage ok so i have used chat message 4% code completion 1% it seems i have enough capacity or uh, what is that quota to play with this agent but remember one thing when you are using vs code the agent mode is not always free but it, since you are getting some free limit you can start using of it but you can use this conversational AI to ask or to get the suggestion directly from Copilot that is lifetime free as such. Okay, that is what only available in VS Code. Fine, so we understand how this GitHub Copilot agent fix our existing bug. Now let's say I got some task to create some fresh project about card service or employee management system or some scenario. Okay. Now what I will do, I will create one empty Spring Boot project, go to the Spring Initializer, name it something like card service, you can ask anything to agent, Okay, you can ask him to do anything what you want, but since this is just a demo, I am asking him to create a simple CRUD API for card service or card microservice, that's it, I am not going to add any dependency generate the project and simply import that particular project to this id 
you can see here there is nothing in our code we didn't add any dependency we didn't write any single line of code now what i'll do i will ask agent now i'll choose the agent mode because i want agent to develop the entire end to end project for me so what i will give the prompt here i'll say something like create a cart service cart rest api for me okay also you can ask him to use records instead of plain java class do the exception handling anything what you want to customize you can ask as a prompt to the agent now let's make it simple i just give these two suggestion for me use the record and also do the proper exception handling in my project now let's see i will ask agent to do it see here the mode i have selected agent click on this create a card service search code base for cards uh, card service cloud rest api to create okay see here it come up with a some plan to create a cloud rest api add the necessary dependency create a cart record to represent the cart entity cart repository cart service controller everything it created continue to iterate click on continue it seems it created the complete class let's validate it what are the changes changes in pom.xml file and then it created the cart.java i don't know whether it created as a entity or not let's validate that then it we have the controller repo application dot properties what is the service class fine click on keep done yeah now let's check the classes so it added the h2 dependency spring data jpa all the required dependency it added and also it took 21 now let's open the src main java it used the record right can you see here that is what i ask him to do there is some error in controller let's see what is that what it is suggesting cannot convert response entity object to void we know the solution you can change it to the object but if you want you can take the help from agent and ask him to fix it if you let's say i don't know java and i am doing this first time i will not type it object right i don't know why this is the error i can simply ask agent hey you suggest me something i tried it out but there is some compilation error fix it but see here it created everything but in controller it directly use the repo instead of create a service class maybe he didn't listen to my command or prompt correctly or i didn't provide the correct prompt to understand the agent what i'll do i'll ask him okay so i i just type what comes to my mind but you can format the prompt correctly okay create separate service class for cart instead of directly using repository and controller in service handle exception and use rest controller advice for exception only okay you can make it better guys that's not an issue ask him to do it again so first he search for those classes he didn't found those class so it started creating them see this is the agent he is very smart enough than us okay so he knows in and out all the details are already fed to that model can you see here there are some changes keep the changes done let's validate it now now in controller we don't have the direct dependency as a repo we have service go to the service class great we have all the way to define the methods and handle the exception now let's see whether it created the exception handler or not anyway he is not following the package you can customize him just ask him saying that create a proper package and all i am not going to do it again now let's see the global exception handler yeah we have that all good so far now let's go to the main class and we'll start the application
so it started on default port now open the swagger again wait does it added the swagger dependency for me yeah we can see here right so that's why i'm saying he's smart enough than us he knows that you are developing a plain rest api you might need this for testing now go to the browser just type swagger ui change it to 8080 so if you observe it created all the http method for us get where you can fetch the card by id put you can update the card object delete the card then get all the cards object and add product to the card okay so it generate all the methods you can give it try by asking agent to create some different api or use case for you and you can test them so that's what the beauty of use the any ai agent it can be juni or this github copilot or tomorrow anyone and any, anything else can come to the market there is always competition on this ai agent okay so i found a interesting thing here if you read this agent mode what it says because two brains are better than one right here if i will develop this particular project it might take one hour or 30 minute for me but when i take the help from agent my brain and agent we both work together and we are able to deliver it within two minute i guess yes that is what the beauty of using any ai agent okay so again i would strongly suggest you to not blindly believe any ai agent or any a code suggestion given by any conversational ai try to understand what solution they provided for your issue try to learn from that rather than blindly believe those things and copy paste in your project okay this way nothing will happen maybe your code will work but thing is that you will lose the technical context okay in future if you will get some error you will always depends on this bot or this uh, chat uh, model to get the response i mean you just need their help without them you are nothing don't put yourself in that situation try to learn from the solution that is what i am trying to convince okay yeah so that's it about this agent you can give it try by installing this code and play with this github copilot agent do let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts